What is going on everybody? It is me Chavez and in today's video we are going to be covering the mosaic set across three sports football, baseball, and basketball and I'll be sharing with you just a few things that I've picked up since I've been back in a hobby for the last four months. So if that sounds good to you be sure to stick around like the video subscribe to the content and click that little notification icon because it all means a ton and with that being said let's have a little fun okay so i wanted to start off pretty simple and just break down base cards in that mosaic set and one thing that you are going to see and one thing that i definitely saw really early on into collecting this brand is that there is a lot of uniformity within this brand so especially when it comes to the base cards regardless of the player of the sport of the tenure of the player if it's a rookie if it's a vet if it's an all-time great hall of famer it really doesn't matter a base card is going to look the same and what you see is just a very standard background it is your standard mosaic background there is no color variation in these cards so you will just see a flat background with the team color that's associated to the player. You won't see anything going on on the back of the card either. Either So it's very easy to figure out when a base card is in your face. And these are just a few examples of that. So when it comes to color parallels, I got to be honest with you, this is what really drew me into the Mosaic brand is that there's so much variation. There's so many things going on within a set. For a lot of people, this could be overwhelming because it's a lot to keep up with, especially for newer people to the hobby. I know looking at a mosaic set and seeing all these different colors and all these different variations could just be like sensory overload. But once you get the hang of it and learn a few of these colors and what they're referred to as in the hobby, then it's a piece of cake. So what I have here are just a few examples of retail parallels that you'll find like in Walmart or Target when you purchase hanger boxes, such as the one that's in front of me, whether it's football or basketball, the hanger boxes will be uniform based off that retail store. So for instance, this was a Walmart hanger box and you can see that the reactive orange parallels are exclusive to Walmart in these hanger boxes. And I have collected quite a few of these reactive oranges. So that's what you see here. And again, just like the base cards, regardless of the sport or the player or the status of that player, whether they're retired, rookies, vets, it doesn't matter. A parallel is going to look the same across the sports. So you have your reactive orange parallels, you have your reactive yellow parallels, and then you have your hyper pink prisms. Hyper pinks are gonna be found in multi-packs or cello packs. Go into your local card shop, you might see these uh, behind the counter and you'll see a couple packs in that pack and then maybe a third pack and that bonus third pack will be a five card pack of hyper prism so i have come across my fair share of these because i purchase quite a few of those multi-packs and cello packs so these are just a few of the color variations that you'll find in the retail world when you start building out your collection you'll probably come across a lot of these because they're pretty common and the print run is very high so let's go over a few of the other color variations that are included in the mosaic set now again these are not all that's offered these are just the ones that i've come across and collected since being back in the hobby over the last four months but what i do have to show you are some mosaic silvers some mosaic prisms red prisms green prisms and then uh that beautiful card right over there and we'll get to that in a second but going over these few here I wanted to show you how to identify what you're looking at. When you have a silver prism like this, it's kind of tricky because if the light doesn't hit it in a certain way, it may just look like a standard base card, a rookie card such as this one here. But as you can see, when that light does hit these cards, you have more of a reflective surface. If you ever have a question on what you're looking at and if it's a base or if it's a non-base card, simply flip the card over and just look for that prism logo on the back of the card that prism logo will let you know that this is not a standard base card there is a little more going on here and as you can see all three cards doesn't matter what sport or the player or how long they've been playing silver cards are silver cards across the board going into your 
mosaic prisms. These have a little bit more pop to them. There is a bit more going on with that background. It jumps out you, jumps uh, at you a little, a little quicker, and it's way more obvious that this is not just a base card, but confirming you see that prism on the back. So again, doesn't matter the player, doesn't matter the sport. Mosaic prism is going to look the same. Moving into your reds, very similar, varying in colors based off the team, but red prism nonetheless flipping it over you see the prism logo on the back and lastly we have a small pile of green prisms and this is a great example again of how uniform the mosaic brand is across the sports doesn't matter the sport or the player or how long they've been in the league a green prism is going to look the same across the board so it makes it very easy to identify these when you're pulling your packs and breaking out your boxes, you'll know exactly what you're looking at. All right, so what should you be looking for when you start pulling your mosaic cards from your packs, from your boxes? What is that one thing that you're chasing? When somebody asked me that and I didn't even have an answer for them. Somebody asked me, what are you chasing? What are you hunting? And I was like, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to collect cards, but as I got more into the hobby and especially more into the mosaic set, I was chasing the Genesis card. I would see videos of this card being pulled. I would see them on eBay, but I had never seen one in person. And so my very first video on this channel where I pulled this Derek Carr Genesis card, it is beautiful. And it is no, there's no doubt when you see a Genesis because it has a unique pattern and design to it. You see the circular swirl or smoky kind of a pattern in the background and it also just doesn't look like anything else out there so when you pull a genesis you know you have a genesis and if you are fortunate enough to pull one please sleeve it top load it put it to the side and even consider getting it graded all right everybody that is going to do it thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video if you haven't done so already please drop a like subscribe and click the little notification icon it means a ton and here's the thing this is not everything that mosaic offers this is just like a small piece just not even like the tip of the iceberg even so in my next video we'll stick with the mosaic theme and i will be covering some of the inserts that you can pull in a mosaic set across these three sports so once again thank you so much for the support i appreciate it have a great day have a great night and until next video chavez out